Hello, forensic experts in the West Bank have begun exhuming the body of former Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat. They're trying to determine if he died of radioactive poisoning. Al Jazeera's investigation earlier this year uncovered high traces of polonium in his personal belongings. All those samples were, um, were belongings from Mr. Arafat that were containing visible biological stains. That means they have been used and we, we knew that he was wearing this, uh, this clothing at the hospital. So we, we, we did measurements on these particular stains. These levels were substantial. They were significantly different, which shows that there, there is an abnormal, not normal quantity of polonium. But you found unsupported polonium in these specific items? Yes, we did. We did find some uh, uns not supported uh, polonium in these, in these samples. Well, Clayton Swisher led Al Jazeera's investigation into Arafat's death. He joins us live now from uh, Ramallah. Clayton, just bring us up to speed then on what's been going on right now. Thanks, Hazem. Well, at 5 a.m. local or 3 GMT, the teams of French, Russian, and Swiss investigators crowded around the grave of Yasser Arafat to finally begin an exhumation eight years after Palestine's leader passed away under mysterious circumstances. Now, just in the last few minutes, we've been told that a military honor guard entered in near the grave site, maybe a signal that they're reaching closer in the digging process to President Arafat's actual body. Now, that's what's going on below the surface, the actual exhumation process. Above ground, the investigators have begun interviewing Palestinian officials. We heard from General Tafik Tarawi just within the last 24 hours who said the prosecutors which arrived from France have spoken with, via the Palestinian Attorney General, dozens of Palestinian officials who are close to Yasser Arafat about the conditions that he was living under, questioning them on matters of how he died, gathering testimony. And this is proving every bit of sensitivity uh, as the actual exhumation. The Palestinians are very concerned by having international investigators, initially at least, gathering information and posing questions to Palestinian officials. So we think to today at, at 1 p.m., the body of Asher Arafat will be reinterred. There's supposed to be a military funeral that proceeds. That's 1 p.m. local Ramallah or 11 GMT Hazm. And as we're talking to you, uh, Clayton, we're just uh, also showing a live picture there of the uh, mausoleum where the exhumation uh, process of the uh, Palestinian, former Palestinian leader's body has been uh, going on. But all of this begs the question then, why has it taken eight years for us to get to this point? Well, there's, there's two parts to that question. The first is why wasn't there an autopsy done when Arafat first died? And of course, in our film, What Killed Arafat, Suha Arafat, the widow, says it didn't occur to her. Now, when Palestinian officials and French officials learned of his death, to the best that we're able to discover, no one had requested that there be an autopsy. This is part of a, a judicial procedure. There's no documentation that one was offered, and there's no documentation that one was rejected. It fit the, the political circumstances of the time, which were to very much move along with a speedy burial so there can be a political transition in Ramallah. Of course, at the time when he died on November 11, 2004, the international community was very concerned that Palestine was without a leader. And so efforts to hurry up with, with his funeral so that power could shift to President Mahmoud Abbas, uh, all those efforts were expedited. And, and of course, they were, he went very quickly into the night. But the, the, the rumors of, and conspiracies of what may have killed him persisted for eight years. And following our investigation, in which the Swiss scientists found elevated levels of reactor-made polonium-210, Ms. Arafat approached a French court at the end of July this summer and said, I believe my husband may have been murdered. The French investigators seem to have taken the Swiss scientists very seriously and, and found their, their work to be very credible, open up a murder inquiry, and now almost five months from Al Jazeera's broadcast, we finally are at the exhumation process itself, Hazem. Yeah, and Clayton, just before we let you go, any indication uh, at this point as to how long uh, all of this uh, will take? Well, I could tell you in our film, when they first discovered polonium was around March 2012. Uh, and they told us they needed to wait about three months. Polonium has a half-life of 138.4 days, and it exists naturally in Earth. So they, they need to measure the polonium in Yasser Arafat's bones or if there's any 
organ tissue left that's, that they can, they can test. They want to get the baseline polonium levels, wait at least three months so it gets into that decay cycle and see if the rates deplete by half. If they do deplete in half, the Swiss scientists say, that would indicate also that he was exposed to polonium made in reactor. Now obviously none of us should have reactor made polonium in our bones or liver, liver tissue. All right, a lot of questions still to be answered. For the moment, uh, Clayton Swisher, live for us in Ramallah. Thanks very much.